my beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl crystal once more so guys if you're here for the first time please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and please hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video to my friends subscribers coucou mes beautés bienvenue à ma chaîne youtube moi c'est crystal pour ceux qui ne connaissent pas si vous êtes là pour la première fois n'oubliez pas de d'aimer cette vidéo euh, abonnez-vous à ma chaîne youtube et surtout cliquez sur la, la cloche de notification pour être notifié à chaque fois que je poste une nouvelle vidéo so guys as i said uh, this video part two of my trip to Uganda, egypt is all about showing you guys the activity the different activities i did while in egypt Uganda. so y'all guys can see i put some footage or pictures of our journey when we left stuttgart here currently we're in Istanbul in turkey uh, we had to take another flight this is the crew we were four of us in the beginning of our trip as you all can see and then later on you guys are going to see what's going to happen uh this trip was quite beautiful but we had some little issues which i'm going to talk about um in the next step of our video so guys we're trying to have some fun here in istanbul it was actually very beautiful compared to stuttgart airport where we left from it was so huge beautiful a lot of shops like i mean really did enjoy we took a lot of pictures there and did some short videos for our stories for what's the stories yeah so So this was such a fun trip because uh, it was my first ever trip I had planned on my own. So in the next clip, we're trying to go and catch our next flight. So stay tuned for the different activities and our arrival in Hogada. So guys, we finally arrived Hogada International Airport. Voici That's so beautiful. Oui, y a Tata Pakistan. Salut. Salut. <laughs> Et y a Tata Miriam. Mm -hmm. Voilà. <laughs> Et maintenant, il y a moi. Et il y a Flora. Voilà. Thank you. And the nice Ibrahim. Thank you. Shukran. Shukran. So, guys, this is the hotel. It has such a beautiful scenery. So this is the view early in the morning. I think it was around 5 a.m. in the morning. Um, see how beautiful the pantries, the flowers, the pools. And then if you look right further in front of you, you can see there's a beautiful sea. So they have a private beach. Oh, the scenery was just so beautiful. I loved it. I was just so happy. Although I was super tired, you can see from my face like I didn't sleep throughout the whole trip. We traveled like the day before. I think our flight was at 7 something p.m. in the uh, evening. And then we arrived the next day at 4.50 in Hogada Airport. So we arrived at our hotel at past 5 a.m. in the morning. I was so tired, but I was so happy um, to have arrived and seen like the beautiful hotel, beautiful beach, beautiful pools. Like, Everything was just so beautiful. I was just so happy to start my trip and enjoy and rest and you know refresh myself. It was just so top notch. Uh, so hi guys, let me just do a quick room tour. So this is the main entrance. And uh, on your right you have the toilet. It's a little bit old, but it still looks nice. Beautiful. For the price, it's for me, it's fine. It's okay. And then a little mirror here to make selfies. Yes, here am I. And then this is our bed. Took a room with two beds. And to be honest, like this bed looks bigger than I expected. So it's actually good for me it's fine just look at how big it is and that's my bed there um we have a little tv here we have our um, towels and then we have two chairs here another mirror hey 
and then yeah here my stuffs see I'm exhausted and then we'll have a little balcony let me show you guys the view the view is amazing like this is the first swimming pool oh so we're neighbors so look at the view there that's the sea and then we have to the view to two swimming pools oh my gosh it's really beautiful and then we have this our little friend here no. but mr bird no, oh for my youtube video now i have to cut this part <laughs> so guys this is a the quick room tour of our hotel hotel here in hogada in egypt very beautiful So this is an amazing view of uh, from our room of the hotel in the night. It's so beautiful. Like <laughs> I keep saying it's so beautiful, but actually it was very beautiful. I did love it. I enjoyed it. So bear in mind, we traveled on Friday at 7 p.m. Arrived in Hogada at 4:50 at the airport at 4:50 a.m. in the morning. Arrived at the hotel at around 5 o'clock in the morning so we had nothing planned for that saturday so we decided to just enjoy the pool in the hotel as you all can see uh, none of the girls wanted to swim because uh we we are not good swimmers actually but i do love water so i wanted to enjoy the water i decided to go into the pool that was 140 centimeter deep because there's another one that was 170 centimeter deep but i didn't want to take any risk so i can't swim that good so i i can just swim i don't know how as y'all can see from the video i can swim a little bit but not much so this is uh what we did on saturday okay. we just enjoyed the hotel and then we went to to the mall uh where ugada dreams uh, office is and booked for our different activities for the rest of the week so guys finally we are here we're very ready for our very first activity which was a safari so as you can see we're already in the car heading to the desert as i mentioned earlier like we had different activities planned so saturday we had nothing we we just chilled at the hotel and then went and booked uh, different activities at the mall in hogada's dreams office for the rest of the week so our very first activity on sunday was a safari so we uh had to go to the desert we had um to ride on a quad on a buggy ride on a jeep to a small village where uh they had prepared a small show for us so as y'all can see we arrived at the desert there was a, a small house where we had to get ready uh tie our head scarves wear our glasses to protect ourselves from uh the sun in the desert and then get some refreshment as well we're all happy super excited we took tons of pictures and little videos y'all can see the team we're complete four of us so yeah but unfortunately we're not able to enjoy all the activities like we took a lot of pictures as y'all can see like we're very ready so just keep enjoying the beautiful pictures we took until the next part of the video
so guys here we had already started our first trip with a quad in the desert we're heading forward i was right in front and then something suddenly happened that was so 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 bad so i re um one of the guides actually came and took me so he pulled me from the line and said i have to go back back and i was actually very confused as to why do i have to go back like i mean we had planned to do the trip and he was like you need to go with your friends to the hospital and that's when i started panicking because i didn't know what was happening because i realized like i turned back and i saw like a group of, a group of people were surrounding uh someone but i didn't know who exactly it was so unfortunately it was one of my friends that had uh, an accident uh she was badly injured she lost consciousness and then and thank God she regained consciousness and uh... <laughs> And I saw how my friend she was like I don't know how I can explain it but she wasn't in a good state so it was very scary because i didn't know like i didn't see the actual accident because my other friend saw the accident since the way uh, directly behind her and i was really fine in the front so i didn't see anything so i was actually many things were going through my mind was like how bad did she fall like is the injury so so bad and i couldn't see until the the guy in the ambulance behind with me he put like something on her on her left knee oh my gosh there was a deep hole it was so scary and then in the meantime i started searching like my phone because i needed to get the insurance because i booked i was the one who booked uh the flight and i booked it with my credit card and with the credit card you have you automatically have an insurance and before our the day before we left i actually sent a mail to the insurance company to make sure like everything was okay to ask like uh, are we really insured we're traveling like because from everything i read on the on the on their website they said i was insured and i could actually take three extra people with me so while searching i realized they had answered my mail and guess what three of us were insured the only person that was not insured was the one who had an accident it was scary like and that's why i told my friend like yeah, I just saw the mail the insurance company said like you're not insured because she actually wasn't insured because she didn't travel from the same airport with us so we all traveled with three of us we traveled from Stuttgart Airport and she traveled from München Airport so Munich Airport so everything was just going through my mind I was asking myself like how are we going to do uh, how much is it going to cost so we finally arrived um, the hospital unfortunately I don't have any food because you know we're all panicking like no one had time to take any pictures or videos uh, one video was taken actually of the wound but it's not something I can show here because it's so horrible so we arrived in the hospital she was sent to they brought her to the ER room and I went in with her because I was the only person that was very fluent in English so I had to help the doctors translate since that my friend that had an accident she can't speak English at all so I had to translate like they were asking her questions like where she was hurt how did she feel and I was just try translating to the doctors and they had to disinfect the wound oh the sense like for uh, um, uh, like they put antibiotics in her legs like it was it was not something beautiful to see to be honest like now i'm still having goosebumps thinking about it so um, and then they stitched her leg uh they disinfected all the other wounds on her arms and um her arm her, her, her hand her palms was quite swollen and then at the end guess we asked for the bills it was terrible like we paid they told us 1000 euros just for the stitches so 1000 euros just for the stitches like it was crazy and then we were arguing with them because we wanted to know like what the 1000 euros represented because that's the only thing they did like uh stitch her her legs and then disinfected the wounds the different wounds on her arms and then we wanted to also have an x-ray and they said like if we, we do an x-ray we have to pay 390 euros and i stood like i was looking at the doctor i was like wow that because i'm imagine in 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 egyptian pound by 1300 euros um 390 euros it's huge like it's a lot of money because one euro is equivalent to 20 pounds egyptian pounds so we 
now ask them like okay um we we discussed like i spoke with my friend and then the guy the, the guy that was like the guy from the safari he came with us to the hospital and he told us like the best thing for us to do right now is to actually book a flight for her to go back because he was, he was really scared given the fact that um a few days backwards there was uh, a french tourist that had the same accident and she flew back to france and two days later she died so he was like yeah the doctors here they're not really um let me not just say something that's bad here but that's what we were told he was like yeah it's safer for her to go back to germany and you know uh have a proper checkup um check up there so we're actually looking for flights but my friend was so weak she was in so much pain she told us like she can't fly to germany today like she's so weak she just need, she can't even she couldn't even stand up on her two feet she couldn't like sit down she just wanted to lie so we we just said okay we will take uh we'll do an x x-ray and see if everything is fine inside if there's no internal bleeding and if the results are positive then she can stay like for a few nights and then we'll monitor and see how things are and if it gets worse then we'll book a flight for her to go back and the guy was like yeah no you guys can not allow her to go back on her own well like, we don't live in the same state so we're actually thinking of how we're going to do and she said no she wants to stay for two days again and then if she doesn't feel better then she can go back so that's what we did we did the x-ray it came out good like there were no fractures inside there was no internal bleeding and he prescribed some some medications for her so we went back uh we arrived there at i think it was almost 10 o'clock and stayed till 5 p.m we left the hospital at 5 around 5 p.m so went to the pharmacy bought the medication he prescribed went back to the hotel like it was just imagine the first day what you think you're going to enjoy like it was just chaotic we went back to the hotel they were super nice they helped they made a meal like for free to, for my friend and the next day we're supposed to have our next trip which was an excursion to egypt so imagine we're thinking like we didn't know what to do because we didn't do the first activity where we didn't know if we so we didn't know if we should go for the second trip because we we didn't want to allow our friends um, to leave her alone in the hotel. So she told us, I know it's okay, it's fine. And the guys from the hotel, they said they were going to take care. They are going to send someone in her room to check out on her if everything is okay. So now the next day, uh, went to, um, the, to our excursion in Egypt, in, um, Egypt. What am I even saying? To Cairo, because we're already in Egypt, in Hogada. So we had to travel to Cairo and that was a six hour journey. We had to leave the hotel at 2 a.m. in the morning to arrive around 6 o'clock in the morning 6 a.m. in the morning so that's all for this part two should go for the second trip because so I don't want this video to be super long so uh, I'm going to share part three which is our trip I ask question in Cairo and then uh, on the next activity was deep diving and chilling on the yard and then our visit to Orange Bay Island where we did some snorkeling so please don't forget to like this video share with as many friends as possible and hit the notification hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video we'll catch I'll catch you guys in my next video part 3 of my trip in Egypt love you guys bye